Hello, I'm here today with Dr. Tung Zhao, who is a senior fellow at the Carnegie Tsinghua Center for Global Policy. Dr. Tung, could you tell us how the election has been viewed in China? I know that there's a vast array of views in China and there are different groups, but we'd be particularly interested in how China's leaders, how its elite groups and ordinary Chinese have watched the American election. Uh, well, um, I think for the top leadership, uh, their view is very power centric. Uh, for them, uh, who wins the election doesn't really matter. What matters is that China continues to focus on its own efforts uh, to build up its comprehensive national power, because at the end of the day, it's the relative <coughs> balance of power uh, between China and the United States that, going, that is going to matter. Um, and if China can uh, continue to strengthen itself and the U.S. will have to respect China by the time China becomes much, much more powerful uh, than today. Um, for the uh, general public, uh, I think, you know, they take a very relaxed attitude. Um, you know, they, uh, you know they, they feel the situation here in China is good, life is good. Uh, so they are basically like watching a movie. Uh, with popcorns, uh, enjoying the debating, they make bets about who are going to win. Many people are going to uh, treat their friends for many meals and drinks uh, in the next few uh, months. Um, so you know they they are entertaining themselves. Uh, of course, some people are worried. Students they want to uh, get visa to go to the United States. Uh, business people they want a normal uh, business environment. Um, I think the most uh, divisive group uh, is the elites, uh, because they, they care about what happens in the United States, they care about the differences between the Chinese and American systems, and they are more likely to, uh, to access American uh, media and uh, information. And uh, interestingly, they are also most uh, susceptible uh, to the influence of misinformation, conspiracy theories. So they are very divided in the sense that many really uh, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to uh, conspiracy theories. They argue with each other uh, whether this is a fair election. Um, but I think uh, at the end of the day, the elites, uh, they, uh, they feel that uh, it is important uh, you know, uh, to prepare for a Biden administration. Uh, the US system is basically um, bankrupt. Um, um, so uh, it's a very interesting domestic uh, environment uh, in China looking at the American election. I'd like to follow up on, on your last comment. It's often suggested in the United States that even though other world powers may have mixed views about who actually wins the election, nevertheless, Russia, uh, China, Iran perhaps, uh, see themselves as benefiting from and actually take pleasure in seeing the chaos in the American election system. Could you talk a little bit about how Chinese view that and the credibility of American institutions in light of both the way the campaign was run and the aftermath of the election? Yeah, I think um, the Chinese generally think the U.S. Uh, is clearly in decline. The chaos following the election is another evidence uh, not only the political chaos, but also the rapid uh, rising uh, numbers of uh, COVID infection cases every day. It looks like no one is taking care of the people. Um, and it's also the impression of many Chinese people that uh, the election proves that the American system is really corrupt. The politicians are hypocritical. They are very selfish. They uh, prioritize uh, self and party interests over national interests. And this further diminishes the appealingness of American system in the Chinese general public. And I, I also, I think some Chinese decision makers may uh, draw the conclusion that um, there may be even greater uh, need to uh, impose control on media, especially social media, uh, simply to prevent a similar domestic chaos uh, in China. Um, so it would be harder for the U.S. to lecture China on, on a free media, um, et cetera. Uh, it, it's going to make the, the ideological competition between them and China uh, much more intensive in the future. That while there are, there's doubt about American democracy and there's a belief in American decline, as you said, Chinese believe the American system is bankrupt. And yet people are very interested in the American election. They follow it more closely than they do elections 
in other countries. It becomes, as you say, friends bet, they take each other to dinner. There is still this kind of fascination from the Chinese with the American system and the elections. Why do you think that is? Why do you think there's so much interest? Well, I think it's, um, first, I think people uh, believe the stakes are relatively high. Uh, they all view the United States as a primary uh, geopolitical rival for China. Uh, so China's future uh, partly depends on uh, the, how the United States does and the American policy on China. And the, uh, the American domestic politics is uh, just becoming increasingly intriguing uh, to the Chinese audience. There is so much uh, surprise, surprise. Um, there are, uh, you know, uh, there are dramas every day. Uh, so it's entertaining uh, to many Chinese audience. Dr. Tung Zhao, thank you very much for being with us. Sure, thank you.